Thanks for clicking play. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be building the bed as part of my Ford Transit Mark 7 camper van minibus conversion series. Now, here's where we're at at the moment. Last video, I connected the electrics. Everything works fine, but I've only connected the fan and the lights. And that's because I need my kitchen in to kind of hook up the rest of it. But before I can fit my kitchen, I need to install my little bathroom area. And before I can install my bathroom area, I need to fit the bed. It's a lengthways bed, not a widthways bed, because I'm six foot one, and the longest I could get out of this was 5'11", so that was never gonna work. The bed also has to go over bikes, which means no main support in the middle. It also has shelves on it. It's built into the bathroom. It's weird. It's so hard to explain. Got some wood. Uh, I've made some measurements, so I think we'll start with cutting. I do love having a drop saw. I was just thinking to myself, it's gone overcast so it might be a bit too dark to film, but then I remembered. I've got lights! Oh my god, this is awesome. Anyway, I've cut the wood to lengths, I've got some chunky L-shaped brackets. It's going to be a bit weird because I've got to build over my wheel arch boxes and that's why I made them reinforced a couple of episodes ago. Um, yeah, I need to start assembling this. I'm sure I've messed some of the measurements up, but ah well, let's see how it goes. Assembled the frame very badly, so it is not straight at all. So I may have to take that apart. Um, I completely miscalculated on the measurements. I, this section at the back gets stopped on these columns, and then it's got like two to three inches so that it could go towards the back door. I will be like paneling the back door, but it's only going to be this thin um, panel stuff that's on the wall. Cladding, that's the word. I'm going to double check my plans first. I could potentially just cut a chunk out of the end but then that's going to massively weaken how I've designed this because because that as you can see that end's not going to have any support underneath so it's got to be strong let's clip to the next section and see what I decided Okay, so I decided to put timber along the front. I used a bit of glue, attached the timber, and then attached the corners. That would keep it straighter. It's the wood itself that's slightly warped. I don't know how that happened. So now it's all assembled and into the van. I've started putting the metal right angles onto the legs, ready to attach, so we can prop up the frame which is behind me and then go around and attach it and hopefully we should have some sort of bed shape. All the supports are added, so now it's not going anywhere. So, apart from this one, I'm, I'm a bit worried that, that that's a bit flexible, but I'm hoping that by the time I've put the, the things on the top, it should be quite solid. Fingers crossed, we'll give it a test.
And there we go. The bed is done, is what I would like to say, but it is clearly not. So, this first section, I think I'm going to turn into some sort of storage. I think maybe like put a piece of wood over it with some flaps, build some things underneath. So there's a little bit of extra storage there. And then to my right hand side, there is going to be a big storage thing, which is hard to explain. And I'm just going to have to do it. we go the first bit of furniture is in we've we've got a bed we've got a bed now as you can see from that last clip the front section where I was gonna put some cupboards I've just sealed them for now I've put like a solid beam because that's where I'm gonna be climbing into the bed I might put some recessed cupboards eventually I don't know I just wanted to get it done so I could uh, sleep on it uh, you also noticed I put a beam down the left hand side that's because the mattresses kept on sliding over so it kind of keeps them from sliding and when I do make some cupboards you know it's gonna make a nice little space to, to put stuff into I might put a lid on I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet um, but yeah as usual thanks for watching if you've got any tips questions or suggestions stick them in the comments below here comes the prices see you in the next video peace